part, easy work boxing part two of this video. That fight between Ronald and McDonald's supposed to have been stopped, man. It's supposed to have been stopped. Adrian Ronald is still traumatized from that fight to this day, man. If y'all can't tell that, then y'all don't know nothing about boxing, man. He, they supposed to stop their fight early, man, because Adrian Brown is supposed to win that. One supposed to be out there taking that much punishment from McDonald. But like people say, and like I heard Errol Spence say, they told Errol, I mean, um, Adrian Brown not to take that fight. Adrian Brown, I mean, uh, Marcus McDonald ain't nothing to fuck with y'all. And uh, Adrian Brown is a prime example of that. Victor Ortiz is a prime example of that. Floyd Mayweather is a prime example of that. You see what I'm saying? You can say he lost both fights, but like I just told y'all, Floyd don't do rematches for no motherfucking reason, okay? And now he's back. You know what I'm saying? You can say and hate, say, oh, he back because he broke, he back because he need money. That's what they fight for. They fight for fucking money. What else would they be out there for? Would you be wanting to get punched in your face for free? So yeah, he back for money, but he gonna bring hell to 147. I love to see Errol Spence fight Marcos McDonald. I love to see that. Not right now. Not just coming in. I love to see Marcos McDonald have step up fights first. But I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter. Great fight. Uh, different look for uh, Terrence Crawford. Different look for Errol Spence. Strong fighter. Determined fighter. No weak fighter, no quit in him, coming forward, trying to hurt you. That's what Marcos McDonald bring to the table at 147. So everybody needs to be aware of what Marcos McDonald is going to bring out there. Don't be looking at, oh, this is a dude that fought Floyd and he went and took a break. Go back and check his resume and see what he has done to fighters before you say that. And remember I told you this was a fighter who came out of nowhere they wanted to lose. And he went out there and made a champion say he don't want a motherfucking damn near box no more. Marcos El Chino Madonna, baby. Mm. I'm just happy that he's back. I was kind of pissed off that he left, but then you got to understand that these are guys who go out there and put their body through shit every day. You know what I'm saying? He needed a break. He made enough money. His family's straight, and that's the most important thing like i tell y'all that's the most important thing your family and you take care of that and he did that now he's back to beat on thurman's ass to beat on spencer's ass to beat on garcia's ass danny and mikey's terrence's ass and whoever else ass and then we just gotta get his man his, his props man go back and check marco's mcdonald's resume and i guarantee you will be very surprised with a win loss and when he ain't got that many losses you feel me you're going to be like, damn. He ought to be up there. If he come out there and he beat a top name, he going to have to be up there in the ranks at 147 with his resume. All right? He's damn near on a Danny Garcia level, Keith Thurman level, a Terrence Crawford level, even though they say Terrence Crawford ain't got no resume. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. But, hey, be watching out for my boy Marcos McDonald. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. If you'd like to donate, go to username or about. You see the PayPal donate button, donate whatever you can. I appreciate whatever you can do. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. I just thank you all for watching the videos. I'm out.